Hi, I'm here with Annie George, who is a scientist at Biotropics Malaysia. And Annie, I know that you've taken a lead role in the invest investigation of Kasum, mm -hmm. Persicaria minor, mm -hmm. uh, which somewhat confusingly has also had a whole other name, and that's Polygonum minus. But yeah, the, the right. name is currently switching over, right? That's right. Okay. So, uh, first of all, I'm curious to know, of all the herbs, of all the medicinal plants in Malaysia that you could have chosen to investigate, what made you look into Kasum specifically? Well, back in the year 2011, we were actually investigating several of the well-known herbs in Malaysia and also looking at the salads that are consumed by the people and we tested them for antioxidant activities initially. And we found that kasum itself has very high antioxidant values. In fact, it reaches an auric value of 16,000. Mm -hmm. Now, if you compare this with, let's say, something that you're more you know, familiar with, like blueberries, we're talking about 4,000 plus auric value for blueberries, and in apples, it's about 3,000 mm -hmm. plus. So here you can see that the kasum has really quite high antioxidant values. Are there... Uh particularly potent antioxidants in kasum or just a lot of them? Uh, it's actually very rich in flavonoids yeah. and vitamins A, C and E and carotenes. Mm -hmm. uh, but what was very interesting was that it has this quercetin 3 glucuronide and this particular compound has been shown to reduce beta amyloids and you know beta amyloids. That's the plaque that builds up exactly, in the brain stem. Exactly. Sure, okay. And that's the one that you find a lot in patients with Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And other ne neurodegenerative disorders, I think it also occurs. Sure, right. that's right. And beta amyloid plaque uh, prevents the proper firing of synapses through that part of the brain? And exactly, and when that happens, you find sort of a decline in your cognition. You're not able to react as fast, you're not as alert, and you of course can recall your memory. And, and is there also, uh, I think you mentioned previously that there was some anti-inflammatory activity as well with Kasum? That's right. We, we conducted several tests, which is actually looking at target enzymes within the inflammatory pathway, and we found that it was able to inhibit the inflammation that would actually occur in the body. And would that be uh, inhibition of something like COX-2? That's right, COX-1 and also the lipooxygenase 5 enzyme. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so so COX-2, COX-1 and LOX-5. That's right. That's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. All right, so we're on to something here. Um, but your investigations led you to an entirely other couple of purposes. One, I believe, was for cognition and one for skin. Cognition, skin, and also immune. Okay, okay. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, for the uh, cognition study, what we did was we tested the extract for acetylcholinesterase enzyme inhibitory activities, and we found that it was able to inhibit this enzyme. Now, you would and know the that inhibition of the enzyme allows uh, greater persistence of acetylcholine in the brain? Is that's that correct? Right, okay. That's right, because okay. you know, acetylcholine is the building blocks in the brain, it's part of the neurotransmitters, so it's able to inhibit the enzyme that breaks down these neurotransmitters, mm -hmm. and, and therefore you enhance the cognition. So you've got more good stuff swimming around in your brain. Exactly. Right. Okay, so now this was done in a human clinical study. That's right. We did, um, there are actually two clinical studies okay. that was conducted. The first one, what we did was we tested this in combination with other herbs, mm -hmm. where kusum was the majority extract in that combination. And we found that just ingesting this tablet in one hour after that, you find that there's an improvement in cognition taken over a period of How did you test hours. that? How did you test that? Uh, through a, it's called a CNSVS system. Okay? Okay. It's a CNS, Vital Science System, which is actually a computer-assisted battery of tests. Mm -hmm. And so you're tested for cognition, memory, your alertness, reaction time, flexibility in thinking. So putting all of these together, it's shown that it's able to actually improve this area. Okay, so that's that's one study in a multi-ingredient exactly. uh, product. Exactly. Um, but there was a second study with Kasum Malone, right? That's right. And we did another study. This was actually conducted uh, by a certain Prof. Susana from University, uh, the National University of Malaysia. Okay. 
and I think uh, you'll be meeting her soon, later this afternoon. All right, and all right. She'll be you a little bit about the study. Okay. Mm -hmm. But what did you find? Oh, we found that um, Kersomid was given to a population that was um, stressed, a stressed population, because mm -hmm. we find that uh, in a stressed population, they are more likely to forget. Mm -hmm. you know, because it's it stress, you have too many things on your mind, so you're likely to forget. So when when Kersu was given to this population, um, found that you know they were able to improve their mood, they were happier, they were happier, and they were also able to recall the things far better than those who were not on the X-ray. So I, I know that at this point in time, there's a great interest in nootropic uh, agents, mm -hmm. those agents that enhance mental function by improving different parameters of brain function. So, would you consider Kasum a, a nootropic? I don't think so, because uh, it was not only in this study, but it's also in the first study that I mentioned that it was actually able to reduce tension, depression, and even anger. Mm -hmm. So I think it's quite a good candidate. You can definitely use less stressed out and less angry people, <laughs> exactly. I, I think. I think. So, now, you went from these studies mm -hmm. into development of an extract. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit about the making of the extract. Now, the extract is, uh, we go through a simple process of uh, using water extraction because we, we don't use alcohol or other solvents uh, because you know, typically people take it, they just eat mm -hmm. it or they take it as decoctions. Sure. So, so we prepare as a water extract and we standardize this extract to, to what? the compound I just mentioned to Oh, quercetin 3 glucon no, right, right. Okay, okay. And also to flavonoids because it's rich in flavonoids. Okay. And uh, so for every batch, it's standardized to these or a certain quantity of these. And um, yeah. And it's so freeze dried. That's right. Okay. So you get, and freeze drying, as we know, halts all chemical and biological processes. So it basically keeps the compounds intact without degradation. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what kind of a uh, daily amount or dose of the standardized extract would I take or would somebody take for uh, cognitive enhancement? I would say between 250 to 500 milligrams per day would mm -hmm. be good because that was the dose that we tested in the clinical studies which was able to improve cognition. If I took a gram, would I be smarter? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> I should start right away. So uh, now you are just recently introducing Kasum extract to the market. Mm -hmm. And what are your expectations for this? I think um, people would want to try something uh -huh. new. Um, I think there are some of the products which is known for cognition out there in the market. Just do the same thing mm -hmm. year in and year out. I think people would be able to uh, accept something that's good for cognition at the same time also improve their stress level because I think the stress amount of people, especially executives, are increasing on a daily basis. I don't know many people who aren't stressed, <laughs> honestly. That just seems to be the world we live in. Yeah. So you are now uh, introducing this to the market mm -hmm. and this adds, uh, I mean, Biotropics is, of course, best known for Tonkin Ali extract. That's right. And that's really been your flagship product for mm -hmm. many years. That's right. Uh, is Kasum something that you think is one of a series of products that you'll be putting out over time? Yeah, I think it could be one of the series uh, of plants that we're putting up. And it's also in a different indication because mm -hmm. we've been promoting, um, talking about Tonkin Ali for energy and uh, for a whole of other important indications even immune recently. Mm -hmm. So Kasum is going to be something that we introduce for other indications as well, which is also important which consumers would want to try. Speaking of immune, you mentioned a few minutes ago that mm -hmm. there were immune benefits to Kasum. Yeah. What exactly. have you found? We found that it actually has um, the ability to get rid of infections which is introduced in the body. Um, really immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so we know that this actually boosts the immune system and is able to keep one you know, healthy for a long period of time. I think we could all use that. Learning more every day here in Malaysia about Kasum. I'm Chris Killam with Annie George of Biotropics Malaysia. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Annie.